Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. Today I'm finally going to take a look at a new keyboard by Thermaltake, the TT Esports Poseidon Z RGB gaming keyboard. That's a mechanical one featuring TT Esports blue switches and RGB illumination, therefore 16.8 million colors as advertised on a box. This keyboard is either available with these blue switches or brown ones. The current price point of the Poseidon Z RGB is roughly at 115 US dollars, which is super attractive for the offered feature. Features. Additionally, Thermaltake backs their product up with a long 5 year warranty. Thank you so much Thermaltake for sending me this keyboard to review. The keyboard is well protected in the box. In it, of course, the keyboard itself, the quick installation guide, and last but not least, the warranty policy. The TT Esports Poseidon Z RGB is a simple looking but certainly beautiful keyboard. The design is kept fairly minimalistic without too much extra stuff on the keyboard. But as always with such, I immediately have one complaint. Where is the wrist rest? Sure, this is a pretty affordable product with RGB illumination and whatnot, but I personally can't live without any wrist rest, especially not when typing typing thousands of words for hours. But on the other hand, many gamers prefer this type of design because it makes the keyboard much sturdier, easier to carry around and to place on small desks for instance. Still I would have liked seeing a wrist rest so people that want to use one at least get the option to do so. The dimensions of this Poseidon Z RGB are 440 by 133 by 37 mm. We get a 1.8 meter long USB cable that unfortunately is not braided, but that's not a big deal of course. Not at that price point. What I like seeing is some sort of cable management system on keyboards. Just like on the CM Storm Quickfire XTI I've reviewed not too long ago, we get these grooves on the back of the keyboard that go straight left and right. That keeps everything nice and organized on the desk. On the bottom we have 5 rubber feet as well as 2 stands with rubber feet. Even a pair of feet right there. Again, this version features TT Esports own blue switches. Its characteristics are very similar to Cherry Max's blue switches. The blue switches have a very tactile and clicky feel to them. The clicks after the keys are being pressed down may not be everyone's taste and admittedly I'm not the biggest fan of these either, but I still think they're good. It's just a matter of preference. So far my favorite switches are either red or brown ones, and the Poseidon Z RGB is also available with brown switches, so yeah. This keyboard should last us about 50 million keystrokes per key. When it comes to the illumination, this is an RGB backlight, which basically means you can set the color to whatever you want, or even do nice combos and effects with the software, to which we'll get in just a moment. Ghosting is no issue here, as the Poseidon Z RGB features NK rollover and a polling rate of 1000Hz. The software that can be downloaded from the TT Esports website is fairly easy to use and comes with tons and tons of customization options. So many I don't even know where to start. To keep it short, this software allows us to switch and customize profiles, record macros and do some extreme fine tuning on the LED illumination. We can choose from 16.8 million colors here, go for cool effects such as reactive, aeroflow, wave, ripple or fully lighted. Additionally we can select zones that light up, add our own sets of colors, even each individual key. And very impressive also, within these effects we can change the speed of these. When going for the fully lighted effect we can either have the LEDs light up statically, pulsating or spectrum circling. Very very impressive stuff here. That came unexpected at a price point of $115 to me to be honest. Now let me show you just a few of these effects. These for sure are some high quality LEDs there that are bright too. As with most gaming keyboards I expect to see a winlock key and I'm not disappointed. There's a button on the upper right corner that takes care of that. Interestingly there's a separate function to enable or disable M key rollover. In total we have 5 profiles. You can switch between them on the fly by pressing the function key down with the profile keys. All settings and so on are stored in the keyboard's built in 512 kilobyte memory. As for media keys we get all the standard ones, play pause, volume up down, mute and so on. The F9 key in combination with the function key acts as the on the fly macro record key, which is cool. Not to far away the brightness up down keys to lower or increase the brightness level or turn the LEDs off completely. Just like Cooler Master's Quickfire XTI, TT Esports Poseidon Z RGB is kept small with the least amount of keys. But that doesn't mean we have to miss out on the numpad, it's all there in its full layout. 
Nothing I'd have to complain about. The typing feel is very nice and satisfying, what most users want from blue switches. But that of course means your typing is louder. The coding feels good and soft. The overall build quality is solid, but quality also comes with weight, making this keyboard weigh 995 grams. In my opinion, keyboards should weigh more anyway, so they don't slip away as easily on the desk. The Poseidon Z RGB does not come with any kind of USB or headphone mic pass through. I wouldn't have expected that anyway at a price of $115. That RGB backlight is rare enough for mechanical keyboards at that price point. The TT Esports Poseidon Z RGB is a very impressive keyboard. Sure, for my personal use, it's not the ideal choice due to the lack of the wrist rest, but I feel that doesn't matter as much when gaming. It was a pleasure typing and gaming with this keyboard and never have I thought about the lower pricing. It feels like a high-end product that costs at least $150 or more. Thermaltake did a good job balancing and combining quality with features. Sometimes that can be pretty tough. The Poseidon Z RGB is very beautiful with its LED illumination and, important, is built well. It's hard finding a good but affordable mechanical keyboard with an RGB backlight. There's just one drawback I can name, the lack of a wrist rest. Other than that, it's a fantastic keyboard that smashes the competition with its very good price-performance ratio. Therefore, I'd definitely recommend the Thermaltake TT Esports Poseidon Z RGB gaming keyboard. At first I wasn't sure, but due to the fairly low price point I even have to give it my gold award. Thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.